Hello there, it's Maggie here. Uh, as part of my series of Liverpool and the Beatles, I'm going to talk to you today about Strawberry Fields. Now, it was made famous by the 1967 song written by John Lennon. It was one of the first that we know that was attributed purely to be written by him rather than as a Lennon McCartney composition. And he wrote it when he went to Spain to appear in the film as an actor in How I Won the War. Strawberry Fields was a place that existed in Walton. If you go back to my Beatles hop on hop off, hop, 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 can't say that, hop on hop off bus tour, you'll see the photograph of Aunt Mimi's house and garden, and that's on Melrose Avenue. Where the Beatles bus tour stops, you can nip round the corner, and people famously have photographs taken by the gates. They're not the original gates, they're the replicas. The original uh, farmland was uh, donated to the Salvation Army by a lady in 1936 so that they could build, so that the Salvation Army could build a children's home for girls on that site. And uh, it was famously built from Walton Stone. Now, if you remember John Lennon's history, he went to Quarry Bank School and his first group, the Skiffle Group, were called the Quarry Men. So this girl's children's home was built out of local stone and very, very uh, dense red brick. Uh, and I'm going to show you photographs of it and then I'm going to show you, uh, so that you can compare and contrast, a photograph of the Dakota building. Uh, which bears quite a similarity to it. Anyway, it was opened 7th of July 1936, so this is pre-war, and uh, I'm just going to read you something that I've, I've read out. There is a lot of there is a lot of footage in the museum that's there now, and uh, one of the things was uh, written that I really liked. This this tall, uh, estately gabled building from which, the top of which, you could see the top of Mount Snowdon, which is over in Wales, and Chester Cathedral, which is where I live. Isn't that interesting? And uh, in the Salvation Army newspaper in March 1935, they described the building thus. A great mullioned, win mullioned, wilder, a great mullioned window shed its golden light on the staircase. Its broad, shallow stairs seemed just made for little clambering legs. Large and square landings, rooms, just too large and lofty to be cosy, and bathrooms everywhere. It was called High on the Hillside. It's opposite Cal Calderstone's Park, uh, which is near the dual carriageway that uh, Aunt Mimi's house is on. So Strawberry Fields was built four years before John Lennon was born and he was born in Liverpool Maternity Hospital. Now Paul McCartney's mother, Mary, famously was a midwife who worked from that base unit and that's where Paul was born too. I don't know if John and Ringo were born there I'll have to check that out, but certainly Paul was. Uh, so in 1940 then, Liverpool was in the middle of the war and was badly damaged by the Blitz. Uh, way out in Walton, I think that they uh, weren't certainly weren't bombed. There, there's no evidence of any damage to Aunt Mimi's house from the Blitz, but they would certainly be, have been affected by the war. Uh, John Lennon's father went off he was a sailor wasn't he and John was brought up by his um by his aunt as his mother couldn't care for him on her own 
and he lived in the house with Aunt Mimi and Mimi had remarried and uh, her husband George I think his name was uh, was a local uh, milk, milk manufacturer I believe at the local dairy and uh, when he died Aunt Mimi had to let in lodgers in the house. Uh, the National Trust tour of both John Lennon's homes and the McCartney homes are fabulous if you ever want to visit them. There's a great deal more of interest to them and I'll come back to those later. Uh, so within Strawberry Fields now on the site they've been built a museum. Now four years after John Lennon died Yoko took uh, their child Sean Lennon famously to Aunt Mimi's house and round the corner to Strawberry Fields where John had played as a child and he famously sat in sat in the trees playing his guitars in in the gardens of strawberry fields and he was very fond of going round locally to the garden parties that they held uh, Walton although his class is a working class hero Walton was quite a posh area and certainly the children's home would be quite puritanical uh, certainly wouldn't be any boys allowed in any uh, of the dormitories and certainly not inside the building but um, he famously liked being within the grounds.